Guys, I'm BX again for the DT880, 990, and T1 little shootout here. A little bit talking about the sound signatures and that. This is part two where we are going to cover the DT990. As many people call it a base monster. We're going to start right off the bat talking about the base because that's what it's known for as well as its trouble. But the base on this it has some pretty damn good impact. I mean, for an open headphone, it's pretty good. It doesn't beat my HD600, which has a lot more mid-bass impact than this. This one, however, beats the HD600 HD in terms of sub-bass. It has lots of sub-bass. It extends much deeper, and it's also going to be a tighter bass. Um, perfect for like anybody who needs a lot of bass, like rap, hip-hop, stuff like that. It really helps with the kick drums and metal. Especially if you listen to like In Flames Come Clarity album. Sounds really good with the song Leeches. Uh, let's see, mid range. Mid range, everybody seems to say it has a scoop to it, like a dip. You have like a V shaped EQ in, in that. Um, I would agree with that. Though not as much as some people would say. I don't think it's hollower sound, well, yeah, it's going to sound thinner if you use the more full sounding headphone, but it's still good, I mean, it's, it's not badly recessed, but it's still noticeable, like, you can notice, like, the guitars and the vocals in that will be further back in the mix, and it won't sound as full, they're going to sound like, what's the word, airy, no, they're thinner would probably be the word to use. Well, the mids on this, I think they're about the same, if not better, than 880s in terms of, like, resolving in that. Just because they're thinner doesn't really help them that much. It's not bad, though. Um, treble. Everybody knows about the 990s treble. These are very, very bright. They have a pretty good peak in there. If you listen to anything that's very poorly mastered, like some metal, some pop, um, they're, pro they're probably going to bother you. I mean, they get they get pretty strident on some stuff. They they don't really bother me. I'm used to them. I have grottos and that, and most of my headphones are bright anyway. Trouble doesn't bother me. But that's uh, that's about it. It extends pretty high up there. Um, it can become edgy on a lot of stuff. But overall, it's it's good trouble. Uh. Soundstage is pretty good, bigger than the 880s, and I know in the 880 video I forgot to cover their soundstage, but the 990s is much bigger depth, airiness to it. I would say the 880 soundstage feels like it's right here, 990 feels like it's further out like this, that's what I would say. Um, comfort wise, it's the same as the 880, but actually maybe a little better, they're much lighter feeling. Um, you think you can use these? I think I, I think I recovered like wrap and that they're fine. But yeah, these guys. Um, there was a sale on Amazon like a month back where they were like two fifteen or so. Otherwise, they're mostly going to be like uh, like two fifty, three twenty. I think that's fine. Uh, two fifty is a great deal for them. But uh, yeah, their sound signature would be very. Exagger exaggerated treble, uh, a big dip in the mids, and some big and powerful bass. So that is end of part two. Now, I'm going to click you and separate this video.